So if it's your first time ever using a web browser, don't worry, I am here to help you set up your own web browser. So for this um, part, we're just going to choose not to sign in because it is not important at the moment. We will continue with everything. So we will just agree. If you choose to read the terms and service, then you can do that. Now we will set up the theme, but for this tutorial, I don't feel we need to. So now we can add some websites to the taskbar for directly going to the website. So, oh, this part, we can just skip this part. It's not important right now. So we're going to add Amazon because why not? Now we can directly go to Amazon through the taskbar. Let's also add YouTube while we're at it. So now we're going to press finish. And now what topics are we interested in? So it's going to recommend us topics that we're interested in in the news. We'll choose TV. Let's choose a few other ones. I feel these are important. So we'll just choose them. Actually, let's choose quite a few while we're at it. Yeah, I think that should be good. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I, I think that's that's good. Yeah, that's good. Let's, let's add a couple more. Why not? Have fun. Okay, now let's continue. And here are here is our new stations we can add. So the two that I censored out are local news. I don't want to share where I live, so I kind of censored them. We're going to add a few other new stations because why not? Now the Washington Post, that should be good. And now we have our feed. So we will see this in the news part of Microsoft Edge. Now we will be setting up our Gmail. So go to google.com, g o o l g dot c o m. Now we are in Google. So now we're going to sign up with Google. So first we have to create an email. So go to personal use. We will choose our name. So we'll put our name, John Doe. Now you can put in your birthday. If you're under 13, you might have some restrictions. You can put our gender if you want. Now let's put in our email. So if the, there, if the email is already taken, it will give us some emails that are not in use and we can use them. So there is our recommended emails. You can also open up Notepad and save the emails. It's good to always have them saved. We'll just copy and paste it down. Okay, that's good. We don't have to worry about that right now. Okay, so now we're going to create a password. So make sure you have this written down in like a notebook, or you can even put it in a notepad. As long as no one gets in your computer. And don't share the password. Um, that is how you get into your account. Now if the password is not strong enough, it will not let you use a password. So you might have to put in a symbol. Now you can add a recovery email. Optional. I can do that. Now, um, there's policy in terms. Um, well, 
making the email you can just read through it I'm honestly not going to do it right now because um, it's not important for the video but if you're willing to read it or concerned about any privacy then I would read it I will disable some of these I want a few things to be private now we will continue agree and continue okay and now we have our gmail set up and there you go that's your first gmail account so now let's say you're not happy with microsoft edge and you want to switch browsers well that's not a problem and so for now we're going to be using firefox mozilla firefox it's a secure web browser open source too we will press download firefox you can use any uh, web browser i'm choosing firefox for this example you can use chrome okay you'll just press it on the corner more where it says downloads and underneath it that part and now Firefox is opened up we will set it as our default browser and now whatever website or link we click on it will go directly to Firefox instead of Microsoft Edge now we will import any data from our previous browser if you put any data on it let's just let's do that you can scan the QR code if you're interested but we are not going to do that in this tutorial I do not feel it is needed at the moment. Now we can do that, but that's also not important at the moment. And we will continue. Okay, so now that we are in Firefox, we are going to go to Google. You can use the search bar, or we'll do that, I don't know. Okay, so now type in gmail.com to go to Gmail, G-M-A-I-L.com. We will sign in, put in that email you saved. Now put in the password that you written down or saved. Oh, wrong password. Mistyped it. Press next. We will press save. Now we are going to send our very first email since we're in Gmail. So emails are very good for um, formal messages like work, um, businesses, offices, school. So the top part, we are going to direct it to the person we want to email. Just put in their email because that's who we are going to send it to. Now the subject is kind of like a header. Okay, we're just going to put in hello. 
now we will type in our message. You can go crazy, do what you need to do. Make sure it's formal though, if you're sending it to your boss or employee, teacher. For for this um, tutorial, we're going to do a to-do list. So first, let's type in. Let's make it huge. First, let's play around though. So here are all of your options you have here. You can underline it, change the color. Forgot to highlight it there. That's fine. Oops. Anyways. If there's anything you want to undo, um, I'll get you there in a little bit. You have these options. Those two. Let's undo it. Alright, let's undo our mistakes. You can center it. So like a poem, and also do it. So uh, you can also write on the right side. But we will choose to do it like this. Now let's write our to-do list. So maybe you can write this to like an employee or something. Oh, spelled list. It's usually a grammar check thing. Now we will make dotted. Um, we will organize everything in a dotted um, list. So first we will write walk dog, make breakfast, and then make a gmail account or email, depending if you're using Yahoo or Outlook. And we are done. That is your first ever email and that is how you use a web browser.